We're talking about displays today with Timmy. Joining us, of course, Timmy Moore <laughs> with Tech Tuesday. Now you have a great example here. And um, go ahead and give me all the information. You were just sharing a lot sure. of great information during the break. Kind of share that now with our Sure. Kids. Uh, basically, there's uh, when you look at a display, there's mm -hmm. resolution and there's PPI. PPI is called pixels per inch. How many pixels can you cram together per inch to make the display look great? So really, it's kind of like taking, if you were to look at this whole big display that is right in front of me, mm -hmm. and you were to cram it all together and just make it into a small phone space. Now, you kind of think, okay, if you're taking this big resolution, you're cramming it all together, what's going to happen? Well, really, when you're cramming this resolution together, you're going to get really crisp images because those pixels don't have as much space to spread out. And this is actually the Droid DNA on Verizon, and its, it's main feature is this 1080p display. Now, 1080p is known you can get it on uh, smart TVs, uh, big displays like this. So big, big displays have this 1080p resolution so they look good. Okay. Imagine taking this big display and crunching it down to your phone. So you would expect images are just going to look great. Yeah, and crystal clear. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so we have so we have different options here. Retina, mm -hmm. 1080p, and then 720p. What kind of difference mm -hmm. is there between 720 and 1080? Right, there's actually, there are so many out there. There's like Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED HD. There's a bunch of different runs. Uh, what Apple did with their Retina display, you probably hear Retina display, mm -hmm. looks beautiful, all this good stuff. Um, so actually, this is a comparison showing the different types of display. This is the iPhone on the left, and this is the Galaxy S3, HTC One X, and Nokia Lumia 900. Wow. So first, this is where the pixels per inch comes in handy. Mm -hmm. What Apple did is actually their resolution is only 640p. So you don't, you're not even at 720p yeah. yet, so it's not even HD, but why does it look so good? That's because they crammed in a lot. It's actually 326 PPI. So they're actually taking 326 pixels, cramming them per inch. And that's why you get this great, great display without cramming that big resolution. Okay. On the Galaxy S3, 720p display. So why does it look worse if it's a higher resolution? Yeah. It doesn't have as much PPI as the iPhone does. So, so what's going down here with the Lumen? It's kind of low end on both specs. Um, the resolution's kind of low and the PPI is kind of low. You can actually start to see the individual red, yellow, green, and blue pixels that make up yeah. an image. Okay. So when you start to see that pixel separation and they're not as many pixels together, mm -hmm. you know that it's, it's going to be an okay display, but it's not going to be the greatest you can get. Okay, so I had to put you on the spot and make you choose <laughs> your favorite, but do you lean towards the iPhone then when it comes to actual display? Um, there, I actually don't have one preferred preference. I actually, after using the Droid DNA, mm -hmm. I really found I really like the 1080p display. It's like taking a smart TV and cramming it right onto your device. But I also do, I do really like the iPhone's display. I mean, even though it's not HD resolution, they really did a great job with the pixels per inch and just making those uh, color saturation looks really good mm -hmm. so the colors actually look real than what you would see like in real life. Yeah. I mean, both of them have great displays. You would really have to see for yourself. I mean, obviously the viewers won't be able to tell really the difference as you can, mm -hmm. just close up. So really go into a store, find your favorite device, find what display you actually like. Maybe you like the color saturation better than the iPhone. Maybe you like the iPhone better than the S3. It's really up to you. Yeah, a lot of options out there. Definitely. Now is this something that's going to keep improving just every, I mean, basically as time goes on? Mm -hmm. I mean, are we gonna get to the point where basically, I mean, Looks like you're just looking. <laughs> that actually is a great point. When you start cramming this resolution, your eye can only see so much pixels per inch. Mm -hmm. So when you, I believe 326 actually exceeds already what our human eye, the retina, that's why they, that's actually why they named it the retina display because for our retinas, but the retina can actually not see anything higher. Okay. They, there's, a, there's a set so limit. So this is, they, and, they and reached these, the limit? Or? Yeah, the displays are actually pushing that limit. Wow, so okay. if they were to actually increase the resolution, we would barely notice it. So really is it, is it a stopping point? I mean, they're obviously going to continue to improve. Yeah. But I mean, resolution and PPI wise, I think we've kind of hit its it hit its max. Yeah. Really interesting stuff. All right, tell me, how can people get a hold of you? I do have a Twitter, and I also have a website too, um, 